Calling Eric's Hour of Enlightenment. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hour of Enlightenment. So be patient, I guess. And I think what we'll do while she's really struggling with this is I will click on uh, unmute one of you, uh, each of you, one at a time, and you can tell us your Eric story, how you stumbled upon Chilling Eric. And that does not mean you don't get to ask a question, I promise, okay? But anyway, so let's uh, first unmute the somebody from the 631 area code. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi, this is Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Hello. Hey, what's your story? I'm just having a hard day today. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What's going on? Well, truthfully, I'm tired of being single. It's very hard to meet a decent man who's on the same page in life with me. No, and then no. you have to work like a day. You have to work two jobs almost to get by and where I live. And I'm trying to find one job and do this and do that. It's just, I don't know. I just want to see what you, and that he sees a career and love life. Well, I do want to, you know, Denise could talk. I can't channel well enough to trust but uh, so we will when when hopefully and if Denise Ramon gets on, then uh, you know until then uh, you you have your place in queue. I just want to hear how you got to be on. How did you stumble across Eric and channeling Eric? I just went on Blog Talk. Okay. Oh, you found from the radio show. Yeah. Okay, how long have you been with? Uh, how, how long have you been following the show? And have you also looked at the the blog or the YouTube channel? Oh, I just started today. Oh my goodness, really? Oh, girl, I'm so. What's your first name? Suzanne. Suzanne, that's right. Um, it would. There's so much on the blog and the YouTube channel, the channel your YouTube channel that really could help you. And, of course, like I say, we're going to get Eric to help you, too, if we can get Denise on. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just go to YouTube and click on Channeling Eric, and you can search, uh, like, I'm feeling lost, um, you know, life purpose, whatever. Um, uh, being single, there's all sorts of videos that are good. And you can also, of course, the blog is channelingeric.com, Eric with a K. All right, Suzanne, keep your fingers crossed that Denise gets on. And meanwhile, I will go to the next caller for there. But don't go away. You're first in line, okay? okay? All right. All right. I'll the next call. Uh, fingers crossed for Suzanne. All right. Got somebody from the uh, 8, eight five area code. Hi there. Can you share your Eric or Chilling Eric story while we're waiting for Denise? Sure. This is Beth from Tennessee. Oh, hi, Beth, of course. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Good, sitting out here by a fire. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, I found Eric um, actually because I was at a real low, depressed uh, point in my life, and yeah. I was I really decided cool. to commit suicide. And so I was, like, looking whether or not I was going to go to hell or, hell or not if I committed suicide. And um, Eric's book popped well, up. And oh, wow. so that's... And then it was like awesome realizing that there's no such thing as death. Because then I was like, well, what am I going to kill myself for? Um, so, yeah. yeah that's oh, that's an amazing story. That sounds uh, a lot like the person who lost her son, much of the way I lost Eric. And um, this was toward the beginning of when I saw the blog. And she had been to therapy just for, well, I don't know, months and months and months, and nothing really seemed to be helping her. Not, that's not to say that therapy isn't good. Well, therapy really helped me and treatment for PTSD. But she decided mm-hmm. in the last session to come home and um, kill herself. And she got everything ready. I don't know exactly how she was going to do it, but she decided to um, go to the computer and type in, my son is dead, and up comes the Channeling Eric blog. So she read it. There weren't that many posts then because it's so early on. And then she made a commitment. I'm not, I want to live. And she's still with us today. All right, Beth, hold on and let's see. Awesome. We'll go to the next person. Um, I guess this is better than nothing, guys. This is better than a hot poker in, in the eye, right? 
um, even though I can't channel, but, uh, well, I can, but I don't trust it. All right. Got somebody from the 205 area code. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Fine. Well, I could be better. Denise could get on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but we're, we're being patient here. So do you have a, a story? I don't have a story. Um, like the first caller, I went to Blog Talk today, and um, I saw Eric and decided to call. So um, um, I don't I don't have a story, but I am very thankful that um, I got in on the show. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so glad you're here, too. I'm, I'm texting her some advice. Um Gosh. All right. Um, all right. Okay. Thank you for calling, and let's go to the next one. I'm working. I'm, I'm sort of double teaming it here, guys. Ever the multitasker, like most girls are. Uh, all right. So let's go to the 303 area code. And like I say, guys, this does not mean you don't get to ask a question, okay? Um, do you have a story for us? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch the very, very beginning of the show. So no, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I just put, I just tuned in. So could you oh, let me know? Oh yes, we have a technical difficulty for some reason. Denise Ramon can't get on, and I'm texting her advice. And also, in the meantime, you won't lose your place. But we're just trying to pick up how people got here to this show or to Channeling Eric, the blog, etc. Any any stories? Oh, I see. Gotcha. I see. Um, you know, I, I don't remember how I found your uh, – is actually your blog um, okay. that I found. That, and that was who knows how, but <laughs> it was some time ago. But uh, that's how I got uh, – uh, I, I found your blog and also the YouTube videos of uh, people doing uh, channeling Eric for you um, oh, at yeah. your house, I guess. Yeah, those. So oh, okay. they're really linked. Yeah. So I've looked at a lot of the videos as well. Okay, good. What's your favorite video, you think? Um, you know, I really, I was really quite interested in some of the, like, the mediumship ones where, like, talking to people on the other side, like famous people, you know, um, Nicole Simpson-Brown, that one. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. if it was Veronica, but, but, like, that kind of stuff was really interesting. To, uh, Manson was another one that was really interesting oh, to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Those really pretty interesting because yeah you know you, you see evil in a completely different light like there's a spiritual mm-hmm. contract to help us as a collective learn okay so oh, uh, i gave you yeah. a couple of choices denise a couple of choices girls i'll we'll see if she gets on soon all right okay thank you for sharing thank that you. Thank you. okay got one from the 787 area code Hi there, how are you doing? Hello, Lisa, it's Zyra. Howdy. How are you doing? Hey, what's up? What's your story, girl? I think I probably well, know it. I, I met Eric through YouTube. I was uh, going through a hard time, and I wanted to know more answers, and this young man kept appearing, and um, I read it, you know, and I really got into it, and I uh, started talking to Eric, and Eric is my buddy, and Eric oh, pranks me so much, oh, yeah. so much. Oh, yeah, and um, I'm very blessed, and, and I thank him, and I thank you, Lisa, for all you've done. Well, and you. it's, it's, You're most welcome. It, there, there's just no words, yeah, but, um, well, I just love Eric. I, I He knows. I talk to him in the car all the time. I have my family uh, following him. I have my, my friend Gabriel. He's online with us. Hopefully his call, his call will go through also. Yeah, and, um, yeah I, well, and, you know, we're here from Puerto Rico, as usual. So oh, um, Lucky, I'm going to go there right now. All right, so um, did you actually see Eric, or you saw his face on the computer? It was on the computer. His, 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 oh, okay. his face. The real, the real nice one where it's just, oh, so beautiful. <laughs> God. I was going through a very depressive uh, state, and I wanted to know more. I, I, I knew that mm-hmm. I, I'd been having all these dreams, and my you know, my family is medium, and um, he, he would just pop up. He would just pop up with his graduation with this big smile. And I said, oh, well, who is this young man? And once I started hearing his story, 
I uh, I clicked, and I just began talking to him in the corner. And well, um, he struck me a thousand guide. times. He's, yes. Yeah. Yes. I wonder, and, and, is he one of your spirit guides? You think? Uh, he's. I I would believe he is. Yes. He told me um, many times. He follows me. He hears me. He pranks me. He's guided me. Um, I uh, I've seen him in my dreams. Mm. And um, and I awake and I I speak to him. Um, wow. But I I. It's 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 been uh, evolving, I would say. So yeah. That's great. Um, Do you ever feel him when he hugs you or touches you? It's kind of an interesting feeling. I get goosebumps when I when yes. I talk to him. Yes. Yeah. I get That's goosebumps a hug or... sometimes. Yes. Yes, and it's overwhelming. Many times it's yes. very overwhelming because um I could feel his 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 energy, and mm. and well you know. <laughs> He's amazing. He's amazing. Oh, okay. God, bless bless you. You. God bless you. God bless so, you. So, favorite thing. I know you do. Huh. I'm sorry? Favorite thing. What's the, your, the best prank that he's done on you? He's done oh, some whoppers uh, on people. He'll, no, well, actually, when I'm washing clothes, all of a sudden, I'll turn back, and it, tr- it turns off my washing machine. And um, He loves electronics. It, 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 Oh yes, he loves electronics, definitely. And um, I'll I'll say, Eric, you know, I need to wash my clothes, please. Can you turn it on? And <laughs> I'll just stand by it, and all of a sudden it keeps going. And 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 the first time that happened, I had a, a my my sister of life was with me. She said, "Who are you talking to?" And I said, "You have to meet Eric. Eric loves to prank." Well, so, uh, getting... I think we have Unisa. Oh, awesome! Well, welcome oh, then. Um, well, thank you for sharing all that. Um, oh, thank you. Hey, Denise. Hi. Sorry. Hey, hey, Denise. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Fine. Okay, good. We were just having a lot of fun just talking about stories. And I'm going to start from the person at the beginning who called in who has been very patient. And this is the first time uh, you found us on WhatsApp. So I'm going to say hello. Hello again, and do you have any questions for Eric? Um, yes, hi. Thank you for taking my phone call. My name is Suzanne. Um, yes. I'm looking for a significant other and a new job. Yeah. She's tired of being single. Uh, <clears throat> Eric is showing me the significant other will probably come before the new job. Um. um there's somebody coming real close, Eric said. So have you been like um what I would say like interviewing for a significant other or something? Or you been on a dating site or something like that? I was, but I kinda give up because I just not meeting anybody on a dating site or if I went out before the pandemic, you know, people were just oh, weren't yeah. on the same wavelength. I'm just not what? meeting anybody who's on the same wavelength. I'm meeting a lot of rude people. Yeah. Well, Eric I, I just, Eric just shows me, this is about, because I see a significant other coming in, and I usually don't even go into uh, uh, partnerships and stuff like that because it all depends on our free will, but Eric is really showing me there's a significant other on the way. He's saying, but put your intentions on what you want. Don't focus on what you had. Focus on what you want. But that's coming soon, he's telling me. Wow, okay. does she need to do anything right now? You know, you know, um, um, or just wait and, and be no, for no, the universe no, ready to receive. Yeah, because I feel like it's going to be someone she knows or knows of. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, and when, do you mean soon? when do you mean soon? Days, weeks, months, years? I hope not years. <laughs> God, no. It's not years, but uh, but I get soon. So you know, it's possible that it's before the end of this year. Um, you know, when we're waiting, it seems like forever. But when it's done, we're like, oh wow, six months wasn't that long. But the new job, Eric says, you know, Eric, just are you working right now? Well, it's weird. Um, I was a teacher, but the school's closed. 
that I was going to take a part-time job. I took it, but then didn't take it because then I don't know if I can get employment for the summer, but I need a summer job anyway. Oh, my gosh. And then I need something different than what I was doing in September because it's kind of far away and I don't like the job. So I don't know yeah. yeah. everything. I don't know why, but I don't see something. Ch- I don't see something changing in that area right now. Eric is showing me because there's some other events that are going to take place. He's showing me, and then you'll understand why nothing really significant changed. All right, well, thank I'd like you. To get, this, I'd like man. to get like a bus monitor job in September. Yeah, go for it. Act like feel Eric what you for have Eric. Eric. I'm and sorry, what did Eric? Oh, go ahead. Eric says apply for it, and, and like Elisa said, yes, you know, feel like, you know, as if it's already happening, you know, like like you're already in that position. Yeah, I already, called two, I already called two places. I mean, the schools are closed, so I can't get it till September, but I did call two places. But, but, in, your, but in your thoughts, and just start imagining being in that job already and what it would be like. Is what, is what, exactly, just Suzanne. Okay, so you don't if you're in the mindset, this is this, if you're in the mindset, I want that job, the universe that really creates our reality, we create reality with our thoughts, right? It's like a zero for things. It's like, okay, you're wanting that job. You're going to always be in want of that job. You need to think, I got that job. And here, and here's the noise with the kids and here this. But, all right, we need to move on to another caller because we have so, so many. I would love to give a chance to. So let's go on to someone else. Thank, Thank you, Suzanne, for being so patient. Thank you. Okay, let's see. We got somebody from the um, 865 Erica. Hi there. Hey, um, I was just wondering if Eric could tell me That's correct, by the if way. there's anybody with any messages from the other side. Okay, and your first me. name is? It's Beth. Beth, your sorry, from Tennessee. Beth. Beth. Yes. Do you have a mom or a mom-like figure on the other side? Yes. Because she's coming through, and um, I get I feel it's a mom or mom like figure. Um, um, do you feel like you get messages already from her? Because uh, she's telling me that she's been trying to contact you, or and I think what uh, Eric is saying to, for you to be more still. And within yourself, because you, he Eric is saying um, you're wanting the messages because there's a lot of there's a lot of unsettledness going on in your life, and Eric and Eric and uh, this mother is saying just just find some quiet time for just you because and they're saying like right now you're not even really calm you know like just being still so just find some still time. Um, and they said, whatever is going on, don't be so worried about it. Just know that it's all going to be okay. Everything always works out. All right, thanks, Beth. Thank you so much. You guys have a good night. You Thank too. You too. Okay, let's see. We got somebody from the. Let's see what, who's next. Oh yeah, the three six zero three seven six. We got a couple of ones that are three six zero. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi, this is Robin. Hey Robin. Hey Robin. What Thank question you do you have for, for our board? Um, I've been I've had chronic pain for almost thirty years mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. then recently well and but but I could still do my art and it really helped me cope and I could earn some money with it. But wow. now lately the muscles in my hands wasted away. So that took my art and my income away. Oh, no. So I'm wondering, yeah, it's been a bad time. Well, I'm wondering what this, what, what's that caused I'm by? Sorry? I'm asking Eric, um, what is this? Do you have some sort of peripheral the, neuropathy? I mean, I, I know you have fibromyalgia, but I don't think I should do that. What's going on, Eric? Um, well, it was, I had carpal tunnel and cubital tunnel. Okay. It, um, yeah. Impingement on the, on the nerves. Okay. But it's supposed to take a year for the, I guess it, the nerves can't feed the muscles, so the muscles die. But um, 
it's supposed to take about a year for that to happen, and mine happened in six weeks. By the time I got my second appointment to the doctor, it was too late, and they say that it can't grow back. So well, they have, no, no, that's not true. They have nerve stimulators. That's what Eric says. They also have nerve growth factors. There's all sorts of things. You need to go to a really good neurologist. All right, so Eric, what should she do? Eric says one is um, really re reevaluate your diet. So are you on a strict diet already? Um, not real strict. I just try to watch what I'm eating and make it healthy. Eric is saying really um, he's he's showing me really like do do research about like what how people eat like for um how people have changed their MS, turned it around, um, and stuff with um, arthritis and stuff like that, how they've switched that around through just diet. Oh, are you talking about an anti-inflammatory diet? Uh, Let me ask Eric. He said, Eric says yes, because that is is a big culprit, but there's, yes, he said yes. But he also is saying that um, the chronic pain and that with, you changing your diet up um, is also going to help alleviate the pain. Yeah, and I, I told you about low-dose naltrexone might help. But, you know, occupational therapy is super important. They have nerve stimulators. They have all sorts of things up their sleeves if you go to the right doctor. I have one more question, then we need to go on to the next caller. Is there a misdiagnosis? I mean, does she have something else that's not like like pernicious anemia, vitamin B12, a, a, you know, like a, some disorder that's causing the neuropathy? Or is what she's been told right? Eric says, well, no, not actually. Not everything that's been told to her is correct. Um, Eric says there, there are deficiencies because of the way um, – the the muscles and the nerves and and there's other thing that's going on because he says when you when your muscles and your nerves get aggravated like yours had it also causes stress on the rest of your body um, yeah and causes effects on the other organs so that they don't work correctly because they also produce um, vitamins and minerals and hormones and stuff and so a, a lot of that is off of balance for you so. If you could find someone that could do some extensive blood work on you, not just your regular blood yeah, work, you know, they do the five yeah. things. You, you look up Google and be your own best advocate for your health. Google evaluation of peripheral neuropathy, okay? And you will see the kind of yeah. blood work you need and all that stuff. And make sure they've done all of it. All right, thanks, Robin. Okay. Wait, I- oh. I know she has a lot of questions, but we can't. I mean, I really do want to cover as many people as we can. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> um, tell, she, she should call me. She should call me. Oh, okay. Robin, if you're listening, get in touch with Denise, DeniseRamon.com. You need to. Everybody write that down, DeniseRamon.com. Yeah. Mama's orders. All right, got somebody from the 205 area. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Thanks again Hi. for taking my call. Um, sure. Eric, I would like to know when do you see me meeting my partner in life? I met this man, Tyshawn, a couple of days ago, and I'm just not too sure about him. But when do you see me meeting my partner? I'm sorry. What's your first name? What's your first name? I'm Patricia. Patricia? Yes. Um. This guy, you said Tyshawn that you met. You don't. You you're not too sure. Why are you not too sure, Eric? Said. Um. Well, I guess we we only talk to each other. Um. He, my brother twin, just moved in his neighborhood a week ago, and he asked about me. And so my brother called me yesterday with him on the phone, or the day before yesterday, and um I guess it was just the initial um, meeting. Um, so, I, I don't know. You know how the first couple of words um, tend to um, either make or break a deal. Um, and so, and maybe I need to talk to him again, but he 
Well, Eric says he's very shy. Ah, okay. Maybe that's what he's shy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so next step, what does this person need to do? Talk again? Eric says, yeah, because Eric says, um, because the reason why Eric asked, because he was seeing, like, do you feel like there's red flags? But Eric says he's very shy. Um, He says, you know, um, so you just make the next call and just say, hey, you know, would you like to meet up for, you know, coffee or whatever it is y'all drink? And, you know, you don't have to be right next to each other, but maybe talk that way or something or go for a walk or something. And um, but Eric says, yeah, Eric says he's just real shy. He's almost, and I feel like Don't the only reason why he called. Don't give up on yeah. him. Give him a call. Yeah, call. I would call him. Eric is saying call him because he's just very shy. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to cover as many people as we can since this is call only. So everybody, try to keep it to just one question, please. Uh, okay, got somebody from the 303 area code. Hi there, how you doing? I'm not too bad. I, oh, good. Uh, I can't decide if I want to do a medium uh, on the other side reading. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with the move. Um, I've got a big move that was um, kind of starting to, you know, move <laughs> forward. Um, okay. So this whole pandemic shut everything down. Oh, God. So it's really, it's really, really put on hold. It's quite frustrating but um, let's see what uh any kind of uh you know so eric what's going to happen after, the after things open yeah. up what's going to what's going to happen yeah. yeah with her move right. and her future yeah well, oh, what your first name is? That... wait what did you say your first name is oh allison allison okay allison. sorry about that so, Allison, Eric says that, um, yes, this pandemic has put a damper on a lot of things for a lot of people. Um, and there's been a lot of people who were getting ready to move, and this pandemic turned out, and a lot of people did continue their move. But for you, not continuing this move right now is a good thing because there's been some things that you've had to He's telling me some things have come up for you to address and look at and um, maybe think differently about. But Eric says you will be, you will continue this move. Um, I feel like it's going to happen sometime in July or August is when it's going to happen. All right, so it was good that that plans were put on. Is it going to be the same place he's going to move to? I was talking about July. Yeah, uh, July and August is way, way too soon. That would That's actually not going to be able to happen at all. So I'm just so kind of curious. Um, that's just not an option. You never know. So, but go ahead, Eric. Is, is it July and August of this year? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah. There's Eric no way it can happen in July. That's only two months away. This, this is. I'll be lucky to get it done by the holidays at this point. <laughs> Seriously. Eric, but, you know, Maybe, did you mean next year? Um, I don't. Eric is saying July and August. So when yeah. you say next year, I'm asking Eric. I don't see next year, so I don't know. Eric is saying July, July or August. Yeah. And I feel well, like the latter part mean? of July and the beginning. Are, I'm sorry. Are we talking about the same kind of move? A move to a different location, a move to a move to a di- I mean, there's all sorts of moves. A move to a different relationship, a move to a different job, a move. Are we talking about uh, moving is, a different this is a place? Physical. This is a this is a substantial physical move. No, I, I know. I'm just asking Eric yeah. if he gets it. That's what oh, he's talking about. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Eric, are you talking so, about the, a move physically? He's, when you ask that, because I didn't ask him, because I'm just going um, with what he's saying. Eric is saying there's some um, questions or some things that you're pondering over or whatever. And um, and this is why you, the move and that you said it's a big, substantial move. And that Eric is telling me that 
whatever, there's something that you're thinking, pondering about the words he's using. You're going to make the change. You're going to make the move he's showing me in July or August. So however that connects with your move, the physical so move. Maybe, cause yeah, assuming, maybe you have obstacles that are going, that are really not there or that will go away. All right. Well, thank yeah. you, Allison, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, maybe talk to you, get, get in touch with Denise um, and talk a little bit more. <laughs> Moves. They're so stressful. I just want to wait until I die so to clean up all the crap I've collected over the years. Ugh. Uh, okay, that's a cheery thought. Uh, let's talk to somebody from the 787 area code. Hey there, what's up? Hello, it's Zyra again. Hey, what you got? Uh, Hi, Denise. Um, I would like to know for uh, my my mother of life, uh, his name is Gabriel, about his mother, Maria Teresa, or maybe his sister, whichever the two, if Eric can bring them in. And Eric, I love you. Thank you for for always being with me, being with us and all you do. And your first name again is? His name is Gabriel. He would like to know about his mother. Her her name is Maria Teresa. Or That's sister, my sister, which would be Sonia. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he wants to know about his mother. Or his sister, right? Or his sister. Well, Eric says that they're both together naturally. He says, um, but he says, like, what Eric is saying, he wants to know something specific. And Eric is saying, he really wants to know. If they're okay, if they're happy, if they're in heaven, are they at peace? Do, do they know where they are? He wants he wants to know all these things. Be, and Eric says they are all those things. They are at peace. They are in what we call heaven. They are together. Um, are they happy? Eric says, yes, they're happy. Um, do they miss him? You know, they do. They do feel his pain. Um, they're they miss that part in a sense, but not the same way that we miss them because they know there's not a separation. But um, I don't know what he's going to be doing. Um, I've, Eric has shown me there's something that he's going to be involved in in like November or something. And Eric is saying that his mother is going to be very much present in whatever it is. I don't know if he's going to get involved in a sport or if he's going to get a new job or something, but his mother's going to be very okay. much involved in it. Awesome. Amen. All right. Well, hope that helps you. Thank you so much. God you bless. Better. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Let's talk to somebody who's next in line, 978 area code. Hello. Elise? Yes. Who are we talking to? Hi. Oh, my God. I love you guys. I've been trying for a year. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Bless your heart. Oh. I love well, you, you are Eric, you guys. You have changed my life. I am so oh. blessed, and I watch hundreds of videos. Anyway, I know you're in a hurry. Um, you my okay. name is Monica. You've waited a long time, Veronica. We're, we got I you. did, and I talk to Eric all the time, all the time. Oh. Um. He said My he here is Monica. Him in line. By the way. I hope you're keeping him in line. <laughs> I've, um, <laughs> uh, no, I just joke with him. I get angry with him. I do all sorts mm-hmm. of things when I'm upset or happy or whatever. But mm-hmm. my um my ex husband died of an overdose five years ago, and that's how I connected with you guys because I needed answers, you know. And he left five grandchildren and two kids, wow. and um. I just sometimes I feel them and I get like these weird messages or I see things or a song will come on and um, I just, I miss him so much. He's just missing out on so much. And I know, I know everything that's going on because I listen to, you know, all the videos. So I get it, but I guess it's good to have a validation. His name is, his name is Larry. Larry. My name's Monica. Where can you get, can you get Larry front and center? Yeah, did he have like a head full of hair? Because he's really coming in with a bunch of hair. So was he bald headed or he did he did have a lot of hair? He did when he was younger. 
when he was younger, okay, yeah, he, he did. Because he's he's coming in with a bunch of hair, so the way he's doing his hair tells me he really wants you to know he has <laughs> his hair back. Um, oh so, my God! You know, Aww. he says, "I know this is hard for you to understand." He said, "But I'm really not missing out on anything." I know he was he's there for all of it. because he's there for all of it, Aww. and he said. Um, you feel him, and he's showing me on your left side. You feel him on your left side. You'll feel somebody, something around you. And he says, that is him. Wow. wow. Can, I, can I ask a quick question? My son said he had a dream of him and his brother, because his brother and mother passed away within two years. Was that wow. him that came to his dream about his niece? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And he said he even, um, uh, he said absolutely, he says he kissed, did he kiss you on the cheek? Because he showed me in his dream that he kissed you on the cheek. I because don't know, I've had so many know dreams. I know a couple but times he I was he, asleep. But he said, yeah, he said he's <laughs> kissed you on the cheek. But he said, yes, he did come visit, uh, absolutely. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. You're so mm. welcome. Eric, you were, gonna, so you were welcome. about to say something. Eric, you, you were about to say something at the very beginning to her. What were you saying? When she was talking about how she talks to you a lot. Oh, Eric, says, he said, he uh, he's telling me, he's laughing. He goes, I hear every word you're saying. And then I, yeah. when, um, <laughs> you were saying sometimes you uh, cuss at him, you get angry with him and stuff. That's why he was saying I hear every word you say, and he's, oh, he's definitely God. there. He hears everything. I do. Um, I'm like, tell your mother to answer the phone and the waiting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, you guys. You have been a blessing in my life, and I'm so oh, grateful. Oh, thank you. And you and ours, you and ours. Oh, what a delightful human being. You know, you can just tell the energy. Okay, so yeah. let's. Talk to a, another wonderful energy, somebody from 360 area code, another one. Um, hi there, how are you? Hi, everybody. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Hi. Oh, yes. You sound so happy and wonderful. What you got for I us, girl? Know. <laughs> well, I'm name? calling on behalf. Well, I'm calling on behalf of my boyfriend. His name is Damon, and he has a stepdad on the other side. So, Eric, if you can ask uh, Floyd Joseph Baker if he has any kind of messages for his son. Damon. Okay. That's a, that, that is yeah. the protagonist in the novel I'm writing. It's a seventh grader. I'll dedicate it to Damon. Oh. Well, Eric is saying that, uh, that Damien is the son has started something, and I feel like started a hobby that was uh, that brought great great joy to to him, and but then put it to the wayside. Either he thought it was a waste of time or a waste of money or it cost too much or whatever it is. There's some kind of hobby or something, and and I feel like whatever it is. He was wanting to do. Couldn't. Oh, was he thinking about it? Um, I don't. Eric is saying, you know, it's something. I feel like it's something that he might have thought about doing, or he's even like started but then stopped. You know, ah. like maybe brought it, like brought out a canvas and started to paint and then stopped. But Eric says yep. whatever it is that he thought about doing this hobby, that you know, if if he would stay with it, it could bring an income in later down the road. What is that hobby? Do you know? I have no idea. Ask him. Yeah, and Floyd, there's a help? hobby that he wants. Will Floyd help? Okay. Will Floyd, Floyd help? Floyd is his dad. On, Floyd is his I dad know. in heaven. Right, right. Will, will he help from that side, though? He said yes. He said yes. You know, it's almost like... Um, he gets these, um, Damien gets these ideas, and then, but it's almost like there's fear in him from following through with it, or he thinks it's uh, fruitless to even uh, go there. Like almost, it's almost like, oh, I'm too, 
this is stupid. I shouldn't be doing it. Because he, Eric says he's a very practical man. Is he real practical? Is Damien real practical? Uh, yes. And he loves making drums, native drums. He's talked about painting them. Oh, well, Flip, that, then yes. Well, Flip, that's it. Because Eric is, in, um, wow. is you know, they, they definitely make, he could make money doing this. Because when he, and Eric is saying, um, when he's making these, he's not just making them to make them, you know, like he's channeling why this is being done. Energy is going into these drums. Wow. How awesome is that? Yeah, That's wow. So cool. And those things are expensive. Those things are expensive. Ooh. You can sell them for a lot of money. The jing, jing, yes. jing can really help people. Drums can really balance chakras and all that. All right, well, go tell Damon, and thanks for calling in. All right, thank you. You betcha. Thanks. He needs to, Damon probably needs to uh, book an appointment with you, Denise, to find out more. Okay. Well, he's definitely got a gift there. Oh, cool. You're right on there. Um, all right. So, 203 area code. Hi there. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. What is your first Elise, name? I just want to... Denise. Oh, Denise. Hi. Denise. Another Denise. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi, Denise. Uh, hello, Denise. Um, I just wanted to tell you, Elisa, you do a wonderful job. Thank you so much for Thank everything you, for you do. You. Oh, shucks. Thank you. So, uh, and keep on sending letters to the president because I think he's starting to listen to you regarding COVID. Oh, yeah, all right. Okay, well, I'll tell you. I bet he My will. So I don't listen to me, okay? But I'll, I'll keep trying. Hopefully, yes, keep trying. Um, yes. I have a quick question. So I work out in the morning, and I hung a picture like a month ago. And every time I'm working out and I'm looking in the picture, faces show up. And it's Ooh. every morning, and I see it. So I was just wondering, what is it? Is someone trying to tell me something, or is it just, oh my God, I don't cool. know. Wait, is it, what kind of a picture? Can you tell me about the picture? The picture is just an abstract it's just okay. got colors in it, but in this one area, these these faces, in numerous different faces. Gosh, what is it, Eric? That's so cool. Um, it is kind of cool. Eric it makes me, he's saying that's like your tribe. It's almost like you have several. Um, Guides? Well, yeah, like people say spirit guides, but I feel like it's more than that. It's not just like spirit guides that will change out in a year or two. These are people, these are guides that are with you throughout your whole lifetime. And um, they've always been there, but now you're able to start seeing them. And what happens is, Eric is saying, what happens is when you're working out, you're kind of like in a no-zone area. And this, and you're allowed to. You're now in a space where you can start hearing clearer and seeing clearer. And how many so, are there? You know. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Eric is Eric is showing me there's like about four of them right there. I agree. So, yeah, about four. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so spirit guides. You know, they come and go. Like if you want to write a book, all of a sudden one that's good at that will do, and then they'll go away, and that's finished. Whatever. But this is like almost like a. a permanent from birth to death type of tribe, like a soul family? And God? Yes, he said yes, yeah. so um, Eric's saying yes, yes. Cool, you need, to, you need to find out more about this. Give uh, Denise a holler. I, I think I have to, yeah. I think I am yeah. going to have to do that. Yes. And, and you've got to ask, why are you seeing them now? What has happened to you or them? All right, thanks for calling in, girl. Thank you, dear. Have Bye. a good night. Thank you, Bye. darling. Bye. Thank you. That is so cool. All right. Let's see. You got somebody from the 205 area code. Hi there. How you doing? Hello? Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Who are we speaking with? Pooja from Alabama. What's your first name again? 
Well, you keep breaking up right when you say your first name, or I'm deaf. I don't know. Could be. Uh, it's, no, it's breaking it's, up. It's Pooja. Can you hear me now? Oh, Pooja, okay. Pooja. So, do you yeah. have a question for Eric, or you want to bring a loved one forward, or what? Uh, yes, I have a question for Eric. Um, there's been some mystery around my early childhood, and I was wondering if Eric could help me figure out what happened and why it happened. Ooh, cool. Tell us, Eric. What, can, well, can you tell us a little bit about what, well, just go ahead, Eric. Ask your questions if well, you need Eric to. Well, says, Eric says, you know, What's really important is what the what the mystery about your birth and, and your life and all that. What's what really is most important he says, is what it's bringing up for you because that's part of why you came here. That's part of one of the things you came here to experience and to work through in this lifetime. And that is um, there's a lot of uh, distrust. So there's a lot of trust that you're having to learn how to trust yourself from within. And um, Eric says trust is one of the big things you're working on. That's what he's showing me is, is trust. And another one no, is, um, sorry. is nurturing yourself, learning to nurture your own self and not look on the outside for people to do that for you. And Eric is saying this is one of the, the stronger things that you came in here to um to to work on uh, and and it's I don't when I say work on it's it's what you came here to build it's what you came here to build it's like this is uh, Eric is saying it's like a masterpiece you came here to do and because that's what one the strong things you came here to do you, you things were created for you to have to look inward to to find that within so so events happened in her childhood triggered her on, to go on this path of trust, et cetera. Yeah. Um, you know, that's yeah. not for the faint hearted, this, this kind of challenge, this very challenging thing you came in with on your plate. Um, yeah. How old were you when whatever happened um, that you're speaking about? Well, it wasn't just like one event. It was kind of like, I don't know if, if who my birth parents are. Like, I don't know if I was adopted. Like, some say I am, some say I'm not. I don't even know my real birth date. Like, there's, and I do I do feel like it's tying in with what I'm dealing with now. And I, I feel like it's kind of um, stopping me from moving forward even. Oh, that's another yeah, reason. For this, this is what, yeah, and okay. you're having to look. So Eric says, Look inside of you for those answers, not on the outside. Mm. Because even mm. if you found all the answers on the outside, it still wouldn't heal what's on in the inside. And that's mm. what you came in here to do. Because you do? once you start getting a better grip on that from within, Eric says mm. you're going to see things start expanding exponentially. Mm. And that's his words, not mine. Um, you're going to see things expanding like that, like boom, 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 boom. And people are going to go, wow, you just get all kinds of good luck in this. And it's not good luck. It's because Whoa. it's like you got this boulder and you crushed it with your own hands because of you finding all of that stuff from within you. Eric says don't get caught up too much on the birthday. It, yes, it is important, but it's not as important as you think it is. Mm -hmm. And Eric right, says, what, create the birth date that you want if you don't like yeah. the date. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So let's That's real quick, real quick before we go on to the next caller, what is one practical thing she needs to do next? Maybe, uh, you know, get an appointment with Denise or, you know, what? Any, uh, talk to a therapist, past life regression, um, what? Between Eric life? Said past life regression. Would, Eric says past life regression would be good. Uh, because then she could see why she's working through what she's working through now. Ooh. And it's not that it's as she wants to work through this, because I feel like it's to really, um, it's like this big, huge promotion, you know. We look at it as, as it is, it's a punishment, but it's like a huge promotion. So that's why you chose what you chose. Because um, you're you know, brave. Of course, the session, uh, absolutely, a ton of courage, Eric says. And, of course, a session with a medium to help you to get work through what's really going on, that also helps. Um, Eric says, you know, therapy also helps. But Eric says the main thing is to do is focus on learning how to love you from within 
regardless of what's going God, on around you. Hardest thing. And it was yes. mm-hmm. And all of you guys out there. Thanks for calling, Blue Job. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you so much, Elisa. And thank you for your questions. You always have the most wonderful oh, questions. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Even though it's in the room, but I can't help it. Okay. So, got somebody from the 602 area code. Hi there. Hello? Hi. How are oh, you? I got through. I didn't think I was going to. Hi, oh. Elise. You're amazing. I love you. Been watching you forever. Okay. Um, hey, if and, any of you guys, I love Denise. Wait, if any of you Thank guys you. have been on and on for months and months, email me, okay, and let me know that. Oh. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry, darling. Okay. What's your first name? No, it's okay. My name's Lori. <clears throat> and hey, Lori. I, hi. I would like to know um, my husband recently passed. And I would like to know if we were, um, what is it called? I can't even think because I'm so excited. If we Twin were, um, Twin Flame? had a life together. Huh? Oh, oh life you had many, you know, you've had many. No, like a, together. did we have a, like a, like a contract? That's what I meant. If we had oh. a contract in this life together and what does he think our life was like now that he's on the other side? What's your first name? Uh, my name's Lori, and his name's Mark. His name is Mark. Okay, go ahead. Well, Eric is saying, well, of course, you know, it's he's saying from this side, he goes, we think we had a wonderful life because now we're we're through it, you know. But he yeah. says, uh, but um, Eric is telling me that Mark learned a lot once he transitioned over. Oh, did he? he? Oh, my God, I bet. Yeah, he learned a lot. Um, like what? I feel like Eric, like he learned a lot of, Eric is saying, um, a lot of what he thought he knew and what he believed in when he transitioned over. He got to see, like, whoa, I didn't know much of anything. And he got a clearer picture of everything. So were you into this metaphysical the afterlife before he transitioned over yes i've been making him watch the videos i was <laughs> i've been oh, on okay. him because, for this for years because um eric is saying mark is like okay because he's like this is what you're talking about you know because i don't feel like mark had the same belief system and it's like what he he was more um eric says he was just afraid to believe in anything else um, yeah. because if he couldn't yeah. see it, it wasn't real. But it's like yeah. he opened up the doors and he opened up the doors to this gorgeous, breathtaking place and just went, oh, my God, this is real. You know, I was and, there um, when he died. I was there when he died and he was staring yeah. off forever and that was right before yeah. he passed. Right so, yeah, I knew he was going. Yeah, I knew he was going. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and and he, knew where, he knew where he was going too. Wow. So last oh, thing good, before, good. Next caller, what was their spiritual contract together? Because I know you had that was yes, your first. Yes. What was it? Eric is saying it was one of them, you know, one of the main ones is, is um, to create a safety place where both of you, because you both came in with stuff to work on. You know, like mm-hmm. you both had stuff yeah. from childhood or whatever, and that, and both of you created a space to where um, you both made it each, you both made it safe for each person to to allow the stuff to come up. Is what Eric oh, says. And yeah, we and, had a really and, rocky and, marriage, so yeah. Because you were probably well, and that's because yeah, he he went. Yes, maybe you were both working. Maybe y'all both it's because you both were working on the crap you yeah. came in, you know. Yeah, I that's why I didn't know if it was spiritual connection. Okay, thank you so much. Love you guys. Love you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Uh, get in touch with Denise. Okay. Five zero five area code. Hi there. How you doing? Hi, Lisa. I have a question for Eric, please. Sure. What's your first name? Sure. 
Christina. Christina, with a C-H? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Eric, I would like to know how... I would like to know how long my job is going to last with the lady I live with. What's your first name? Caretaker? Yes. Okay. Eric says in these jobs, usually the, uh, the, the patient dies. So that's why she's asking. That's what he's telling me. Is that true? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what Eric is telling me. Um, Wow. Eric is telling me that to let you know, of course, spirit never tells me when somebody's going to die unless it's just right. so important. But Eric says, you're okay for this year is what he's okay. telling me. And don't worry because there will be another one that comes in after that. Because um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but people speak highly of you, of the work that you do. So it's like your reputation gets around. Wow. Great. Do you like your job with this woman? I do. I love it here. I was hoping that even if she gets worse and has to go to a home, I want it to stay at least, I'm hoping for five years, but if not, minimum three years. Yeah. Well, Eric says, yeah, your reputation, you know, gets around. So Eric says, don't worry about it, you know. Um, and Eric says it's kind of like an unspoken thing. Nobody will approach you and say, when Mrs. So-and-so dies, would you come work for me? It's like they don't do that. Well, they don't want to say that. You know, so, yeah, so they don't do that. But your your reputation gets around, and um, Eric says don't worry about, about not being employed. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, great. You- that's what I needed to know. Caring, nurturing, and compassionate person. All right, thanks for calling in. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Okay, let's see. Got somebody from the 516 area code. Hi there. How are you doing? Hi, Andisa. Hi, Denise. Hi, Eric. Uh, I love you guys. Andisa, Andisa, thank you for all you do. I know you guys don't have (laughs) I know you guys don't have time. I have a question for Eric. It's regarding my niece, Irene. is diabetic. One time I called, but I think um, Eric said it was uh, a bleed through from another life. So with the corona, my sister is very worried about it. She's stressed out about it. I wonder if there is something we can do to kind of like cure it if it's bleed through. So that's my question for Eric. About the knees, you said? Yeah, my Denise? niece. My niece. Her oh, name is Irene. Her okay, yeah, her, she's Irene. What is your first name? Oh, Nancy. Sorry, Nancy from Long oh, Island. Yeah. Okay. So, are you saying Nancy the knees? There's something with the knees. My oh, niece. No. My niece. The Irene. Her name is oh, Irene. Niece. My niece. Uh, yeah. Your niece. Yeah. Sorry. Her, her aunt. So, how can she be protected against COVID since she has diabetes? We have to hurry. No, she has. Yeah, she she had diabetes, but my yeah. sister is very worried. Like she's gonna get if anything happened with the COVID, you know, since she's diabetic, she cannot pull. You know, if something mm-hmm. happens, something gonna happen to her. But she's very worried about her. So I was asking Eric if there is anything we can do, or you know, for her, for my niece, since it is bleed through. Last time I spoke to um, Raylene, I believe she said it is bleed through from another life. That's how she oh, gets the diabetes. Yeah. Oh, the show is about to end. Well, so Eric, Eric, is she going to be okay? Eric says, Eric says yes, but you just got to get out of the fear because that feeds it. So yeah. it's like okay. it, it just feeds it. Eric says get out of the fear. Right. And, and her being diabetic, she can also start vamping up her diet, Eric says, because there's some things she can take out of her diet that would okay. help her diabetes. Y'all, y'all need to call Denise and y'all. Okay, uh, okay. Dot com. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you okay off, thank Nancy. you. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. Uh, thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll call another time. Oh, good you're, you're welcome, Nancy. Hi, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Denise. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you, Denise. I love you guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.